Hi, I'm Mike Moe with the Graco Industrial Products Division Training Department. Today we're going to talk about the Pro XP Electrostatic Gun product offering. Okay, the Pro XP Standard Gun has four controls we want to talk about. First one, the electrostatic on off knob. Then we have the fluid control knob, that's the air spray gun only, the atomizing air knob, and then the fan air knob. All right, those are the four controls on the gun. Let's go ahead and take a little closer look at the gun itself and look at the locations of these four knobs. All right, let's take a little closer look at those four adjustment knobs on the Pro XP gun. The first one we're gonna look at is going to be on the left-hand side of the gun, and it's right here. That's going to be the fan adjust knob. That's the knob that we can open and close to control the height of our pattern, all right? So let's take a look at another one that's on the back side of the gun. And that's going to be kind of a dual control. There's one valve down in here, but on the top side of it, that's our electrostatic on off. And on the middle, that's the rotating valve that we can use to rotate in or out to restrict the fluid flow. All right, we have one more uh, restrictor that we want to look at. And that's going to be located on the right hand side of the gun, right up in this area here. And that's going to be the restrictor valve for the atomizing air. All right, the Pro XP gun has an alternator speed light on it. The speed light's doing two things. Number one, it's telling you the electrostatics are on, but it's also going to give you a visualization if it's running properly. The light's going to be green if it's running at the right rotational speed. It'll be amber if it's running a little bit too slow and you need to increase the pressure to the gun to get it up to the right speed. Red indicates that it's running too fast and you need to back off the pressure to slow it down so it's again running at the right speed to create the right voltage output on the gun. Okay, so so far we've been talking about the Pro XP standard gun and now we're gonna spend a little bit of time talking about the Pro XP smart gun. The smart gun has the same four controls for fluid and air on the handle, but then it's got the smart display on it as well. Some of the things that are displayed on that display is a bar graph telling you what the voltage output is, right? It also is going to give you the alternator speed light, just like we saw on the, uh, the standard model. But then we're going to have a high-low KV switch, and we're also going to have the low KV settings. The low KV setting is going to allow you to set a different voltage on that low setting by increments of 5, with the lowest setting being half of what the full KV power potential of that gun is. All right, let's take a little bit closer look at the display module. All right, what we have represented on the back of the smart gun is in a, in a bar graph and as a percentage on the top here we have the KV output displayed. And then beneath it is the microamps displayed, again on a bar graph in, in a percentage. All right. We also have the indicator light here, and the indicator light is doing a couple things. Number one, it's telling us the electrostatics are on. Green means that it's running at the correct speed. Amber is going to mean that it's running a little bit too slow. And red is going to indicate that it's running too fast. All right, so as we're going through this, we come up to an error code on the screen. What the error code indicates is that the smart module has been disabled or has become disconnected from the power supply. Okay, so that's what the error code is. All right, so we're going to continue on here. And we're going to take a look at a couple other things. And the next thing that comes up is this 45 with a lock padlock next to it. All right, what that means is that we've got the low set button here. And, and when you see that 45 lock on there, what it means is you push that low set button, but physically the valve for the high low is in the high position. So in the high position, I'm locked into the high KV output of the gun. If I push the low set, it's telling me locked, all right? So th what I have to do to get into that low set position is I physically push that valve over to low, and then if I go ahead and push this button again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to display that 45 as my low setting, and then every time I push that button thereafter, I increment by 5 kV so I can adjust that low setting. 
All right, so let's spend a little bit of time talking about that high-low setting and where we would use it. So one of the areas where we'd want to use the low setting is when we were painting and we run into this Faraday cage effect issue, all right? What happens when we try and paint into the corners with electrostatic is we have the charged fluid over here, this, this stream of material that's charged, and the part that we're painting to an earth ground. All right, as we're trying to get the paint up into this corner here, the actual grounded part, this surface right here, is closer to the gun, and all that material is tracted to this point right here as opposed to in the corner. So by turning that low setting on the gun, we can minimize the voltage output, minimizing the attraction from here to here, and forcing the paint back up into this corner here. The Pro XP Smart Gun Control also has diagnostic mode. In the diagnostic mode, you can go out and you can look at the voltage and the current actual output numbers as well as the alternator speed. In addition, once you have your low voltage setting, you can lock it into position. All right, with that, let's go out and let's take a little closer look at the Smart Gun screens. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the diagnostic screens on the Pro XP Smart Gun. In order to enter these screens, what you're going to do is you're going to come up and you're going to push the low set button on the back of the gun and hold it for five seconds. Once you get into the diagnostic screen, the first screen that's going to be displayed is the KV voltage output. Keep in mind as you're doing this, you actually have to pull the trigger on the gun and get that alternator spinning to power this module up. All right, once you're here, if you want to advance to the next screen, all you gotta do is go to the low set button and push it, and it's gonna advance to the next screen. The next screen being the microamp output, okay? Again, once we're done with that, we hit the low set button one more time, and then it's gonna display the speed of the turbine, okay? Or the alternator, and, and that's gonna be displayed in hertz. When we're ready to move on, we go ahead and hit that low set button again, okay? And that's going to be the, the low voltage lock button, all right? If I push this button one more time, a little padlock's gonna come up indicating that that low setting is now locked. What that means is in the operation mode that the operator cannot actually toggle around or change that low setting because the low setting has now been locked. All right, when you're ready to exit the diagnostic screens, you just simply push that low set button for five seconds and it goes back to the normal operating screens.